First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do real well that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, the true servants, the prophets, the true and sincere prophets, the brothers that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and, this, and in this doctrine unto you, I say shalom. The basis of man shall return to their natural state. All right, when I speak of the basis of man, I'm speaking of the Edomites, all right? The so-called white man, all right? Who, who the world, who has pretty much fooled the world into thinking that they modernize everything. They're the ideal human, the ideal person, all right? They uh, um, they, they civilize everyone, all right? But act, in actuality, they're the basis of man, all right? And in this article I'm going to you know, read, it's going, to, it's going to show you how vile and filthy and nasty that they truly are, all right? They're going to return to this state, all right? The Most High has pretty much, you know, put them up to the level, the status that they are right now, just so they can bring them down, all right? The Most High brought the lowest of the low, all right, and brought them up. That shows you the power of the Heavenly Father and brought them up and had them deceive the world. And the world actually believes that this, this so-called white man is sophisticated, he's clean, all right, he's trustworthy, he's honest. They, they, The whole world believe that he's white because everything associated with the term white is clean, honest, uh, um, you know, without blemish, all right, good, all right, and he's the complete opposite, all right? The Edomites are actually the real black people, all right, because everything about them is negative, dark, all right, wicked, all right? They are the wicked that the Bible speaks of, and they're going to return to that state. And in this in this article, it showed you how you know, it how they didn't you know they never practiced good hygiene even to this day. All right, I saw a TikTok where they asked random people, rent Edomites. It was something about you know when you take a shower, you know they said they didn't even wash their legs. All right, and, and Jake is looking at that. I'm pretty sure looking like yo, that's bugged out. When you take a you take a bath, you take a shower, you wash your whole body, but not this devil. Not the, and, and it's really it's the spirit. That's in these people, all right. That that you know the Most High didn't bless them with the you know a uh, 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 knowledge, all right. Not knowledge of uh, uh, you know and wisdom, true wisdom, all right. He blessed them with that wicked, vile spirit that's in them. All right, let me grab a precept real quick before I read this article because the scripture says in Habakkuk the spirit that is 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 in him is not right. Habakkuk two and four, behold the soul which is lifted up in him. Lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. All right, and, and that's that's talking about Esau. All right, and and when I'm, I'm gonna start reading this, and you're gonna see how they were. They say this is in 1600s when this devil Esau began to um, come back into power after the thousand years, um, you know, had expired. All right, and actually, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that before because you know you gotta you have to go into the history. And understand that, yeah, our people ruled during the Middle Ages, during the Dark Ages, those uh, for a thousand years. But we were taken out of, we were taking, uh, uh, taken out of rulership, taken out of power. Our, you know, Jake, you know, the tribes of Benjamin, um, Judah, and Levi were, you know, dispersed among, you know, really the world. But after the the besieging of the Temple of uh, 70 A.D., they, you know, a lot of them went to the west coast of Africa. Some uh, went into uh, parts of Asia and other, you know, uh, an, another part went over into um, in Europe and they ruled there for a thousand years. All right. That don't mean they were righteous, completely righteous, but they ruled. All right. And, you know, they show you that. Well, they don't show you that, but there are books that show you the the, the icons that uh, were pretty much destroyed um, while Jake was ruling, you know, in uh, uh, Europe during those uh, that thousand year period. So let me go to Revelations real quick, and then I'm gonna get into because because this this time period, it um it, it speaks of in you know the 1600s and 1700s when uh, Edomites began to come back out of those the, the caves and began to rule in uh in Europe, all right, and, and pretty much revived that 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 uh that fourth beast, or right, is this uh Revelations uh chapter uh, 20 and I'm gonna start at uh. 
I'm sorry, one. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And the bottomless pit is speaking of the uh, of Europe. All right. Um, and, and he laid hold the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years. All right. That was um, the thousand year period where Esau. All right. That old serpent. Going back to the garden, that, that spirit, you know, right, speaking of the Edomites, they were bound for a thousand years. And he cast him to the bottom of his pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And we're living in that little season now where that, um, you know, he was bound, but he was bound that thousand years in the bottom of his pit, and, you know, where he was taken out of power. Let me jump to verse eight. And uh, let me see, verse seven. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out and deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, together, then, uh, to gather them together for battle and the, number of, and the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. The sand of the sea. So he deceived the nations. He deceived the nations through iconoclasm, through a... Uh, uh, um, that was one of the uh, uh, main um, devices that he used, iconoclasm, which was the facing, uh, uh, really the books, the Bible. All right, he put his face, his image, as the image of the Most High and his son and all the you know the disciples, any great figure, major figures in the scriptures. You know Moses, Abraham, they were all Edomites. All right, and he, and he deceived the world through uh, iconoclasm during that period. Okay, even you know before then, but you know. That was, you know, um, during this time, the so-called renaissance, all right, which means rebirth. That's when Esau came out of those caves and began to rule again. All right. And I want to, you know, I want to get to the article and show you their, um, you know, just basically how they were living. But let me grab one more precept in a second, uh, not second, yeah, first Maccabees, um, is it third chapter, yeah, I believe it's three. And uh, 40, uh, 48, and laid open the books of the law wherein the heathen, be, heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. All right, so that's what the heathen did. All right, but even more um, in the time of so called uh, Renaissance, or right, where in the schools they tell you it was a time of, of, of you know, art and all this bullshit and art and music in Europe. No, it was a time where Esau went out and deceived the nation, deceived the world, all right, by bringing, putting his image um, on, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, and, and like I said, the Most High, all right, to, to, to have the world think that, you know, these people are, 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 are the people of the Most High, that the Most High looks like these people, these Edomites. All right, so now uh, let me get to the article. It says, uh, let me see. Very nasty history, and in history is coming out. The truth is coming about, coming out about who the wicked is, and we have to go into the history. Not only our history as a nation of Israel. All right, we're get, we're receiving our heritage back. All right, we're understanding who we are as a nation. We have the name of the heavenly Father, the name of His Son. We're coming back and following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. But also, we need to know the history of our enemy. All right, and where they come from and their vile history. Because at the end of the day, you know, Esau will turn and say, this was us, you know, but this is clearly them because some of the things I was reading here, the same shit Edomites do today. There's nothing new under the sun, as the scripture says. And they try to throw the Middle Ages in there like, no, this was past the Middle Ages. OK, it says when visiting the palace in Versailles of Versailles in Paris, it is observed that the sumptuous place palace has no bathrooms. In the Middle Ages, there were no toothbrush, perfumes, deodorant, and much less toilet paper. All right, this is how these devils live. All right, human excrements were thrown out of the palace windows. This is a palace, and a lot. And if you go into the history, Jake had set up castles and palaces all throughout Europe. All right, but when these Edomites took over, and you know, it was prophecy that you know, um, that they, they, you know, Jake would, you know. We wasn't going. We weren't in the kingdom, so the, the new pneumonic and bubonic plagues came and wiped uh, 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 the majority of Jake out in Europe. All right, and of course those you know those barbarians and uh, the Edomites you know uh, came out of those Caucasus mountains and Jake fell. All right, 
Um, but you know, like I said, Jake was ruling during the uh, the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, but they wasn't. It wasn't like they was completely righteous. Okay, but back to the article. On a holiday in the palace kitchen, was able to prepare a feast for fifteen hundred people without the minimum without minimum hygiene. So that's that's Edomites today. All right, Edomites today. The average Edomite only doesn't even take a bath every day. You know, seven days in a, a, a week, they may take three baths. Okay. In today's movies, we see people that that from that era shaking and fanning. The explanation is not. Is not in the heat, but the foul odor emitted under skirts, which were deliberately made to contain the smell of private parts since there was no hygiene. There was hygiene, okay, because in, in the ancient world, our women, um, you know, women and the men proper, I mean, practiced proper hygiene, all right, whether it was oils, or, you know, or, or whatever it was that they, you know, they used to, uh, you know, make themselves smell good, all right? But that this never was a part of the Edomite culture. It never was a part of their uh, uh, um, of their uh, their their heritage. All right. This and this and this is clearly explaining and showing you how you know um, these people were. All right, and how they still are to this day. All right. Uh, let me go. Where was I at? It was also not customary to shower due to the cold and almost non existence of running water. Only the nobles had only the lo, nobles had lackeys to fan them to dispel the bad odor that exalted the body the from the body and the mouth as well as to scare away insects. Those who had been in Versailles had admired the huge and beautiful gardens that at that at that at the time were only contempt were only contemplated but used, but not only contemplated, but used as toilets in the famous ballads promoted by the monarchy because there were no bathrooms. There were bathrooms, all right? Because when Jake was living in the, in those times, they had a proper way to, um, you know, use the bathroom and stuff, all right? Wherever Jake was, you know, whether it was, you know, when Jake had moved, you know, had uh, the, the Northern Kingdom had moved over here to the new, so-called New World, we had a way to, to you know, to... to to, to to live we had a proper way to live all right we 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 you know um gad and reuben and and, and the, you know the tribes that were over here they had you know they had a, a proper ways to disposal waste all right but these edomites they what do they do they just you know throw the shit out the window how wicked and vile is that all right in the middle ages most weddings took place in june for them the beginning of the summer the the reason is simple the first baths of the year were taken in May, so in June the smell of people was still tolerable. These devils, they, they say the time of baths, all right? They so it, it, clearly they weren't taking baths every day. Not even they taking bath once a year. However, in some odors were already being, already beginning to bother. The brides carry bouquets of flowers near their bodies to cover the odor. That's that's where you get the uh, uh, the bride's bouquet from. Okay. Hence the explanation of the origin of the bridal bouquet. Um, the bat, the baths were taken in a single massive tub filled with hot water. The head of the family had the privilege of the first to swim in the clear water. Then, without changing the water, the others arrived in the house in the order of age. Women also by age, and finally the children. Babies were the last ones to bathe. When when the when his turn came, the bath the water of the, in the bathtub was so dirty that it was possibly killed the baby to kill. It was possible to kill a baby inside. All right, how wicked is that? Everyone's in you know they, everyone's in the same bath water, okay? And they only taking one bath a year, and it's so filthy that it could kill a baby. That's the type of people that we're dealing with. That's the type of people that's ruling over us right now. That's how far we fell as a nation. Where we got the basis of man ruling over us. This 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 caveman is ruling over us. Okay, these are your senators and these are your uh, your presidents. Okay, Th these are your governors and mayors and stuff. These Edomites. Th this is their true identity. This is who they are. All right, they, they may not. They, you know, they may they may live in mansions and have all this, you know, uh, 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 you know, high, high hygiene shit now, but trust me, they still don't use they, they still don't use the resources they got. A motherfucker could be rich and, and still don't take a bath every day. Edomites, you know, rich Edomites got 
uh, 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 two Edomites live in a house with, um, shit, tw 10 bathrooms, and they, and they don't take a bath every day, all right? But that's, that's showing Jake, that's showing, it show you Israelites how far we fell as a nation where we got these devils, these same devils that don't take a bath for once a year ruling over us, all right? Uh, let me see, um, let's jump down. Those who had money had 10, 10 plates. Certain types of food oxidized the material, causing many people to die from poisoning. Let's remember that the hygiene habits at the time were terrible. Tomatoes being acidic were considered poisonous for a long time. Uh, canned cups were used to drink beer or whiskey. The combination sometimes of individual on the floor in a kind of narcolepsy induced by mixing alcohol with the, with the tin oxide. All right, and it goes into how, you know, sometimes people would be dead. They would think they were dead, and, you know, they would wake up or whatever. But this is just a quick, brief article to show you, um, you know, who, you know, sh show you Esau's true identity. All right, it's, it's being revealed. The scriptures say the wicked shall be revealed. And Esau and all their wickedness, uh, uh, their true identity is being revealed in these last days. All right, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. I'll just get it real quick. And then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right, the wicked is being revealed. All, all their dirty laundry. This is them. This is Esau. All right, because they're doing the same shit today. All right. Yeah, Jake, we had a low level, but still, Jake, if Jake, got, if Jake can take a shower, if Jake can put some deodorant on and smell good, they're going to do it. Okay. Esau, they got all the resources, all the shower, all the, they can go in Walgreens and buy all the, the you know, Walgreens and CVS and buy all the hygiene shit they want. They, they still ain't going to use it. They, these motherfuckers take a shower and still smell like a, uh, 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 and still smell like a wet dog. All right. But this is who's ruling right now. All right. But Esau's time is, 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 is almost up. And then we're going to have to show them how to, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, to show them the proper ways. Uh, of hygiene and that's you know the same thing the same thing that gad did when they came over here all right when those european settlers or explorers or whatever the hell you want to call them they came over here they didn't know how to live they were they they, they brought disease over here to the americas okay they they didn't know how to survive in the winter they didn't even know how to grow crops but they're they but they let they they um push the narrative that they civilized gad they civilized the world all right they didn't civilize shit all right, because it, 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 it is not in them to to do these things. Okay, it's just not it's just not in them. All right, this is Daniel um, four and verse seventeen. Uh, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it and give it it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. All right, let's look up this word basis. Cause this is Esau. Esau is the basis of men. Like, say you playing a video game, Madden or uh, uh, NBA, you know, live or 2K, whatever it's called, and you want to make a character. All right, you know how your character starts off with just nothing. That's Esau. He don't get no, you know, no upgrades on anything. That's just him. All right, that that's his natural state. Let me see. Where's this? Let me go down. Get this word. Uh, basis. Shafar, lowest, low, low, lowliest. Let me see if they ain't got any synonyms. Uh, low in station, construct. Let me see. It's just low. E Esau's the lowest of the low. Of all the 18 nations, Esau's at the bottom. But they're ruling right now because the scripture just said, the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of man and setteth up over it uh, whomsoever he will. All right, so this is Esau's time to rule. They, they, Esau had shit three rulerships, and look how they look. Look, look what they done. All right, um, let me grab. Uh, go to Job, the book of Job, um, thirty. But now they that are younger than I, that younger than I, have me in derision, whose fathers I would not have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. And this is, they are younger than I, meaning their status. All right, where, yea, whereunto might the strength of their hands profit me in whom old, in whom old age was perished? Let me see. Uh, for, 
for one and for want and famine they were solid solitary fleeing into the wilderness in former time desolate and waste who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat they, they were eating roots and and you know uh, 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 uh mallows in the bushes uh, they were driven forth among men they cried after them af as after a thief to dwell in the clefts of the valley in caves of the earth and in the rocks all right that that was their natural natural habitation in, to, to be in the uh the caves or right, esau's a natural caveman okay it says he was a uh a, 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 a cunning hunter what was it uh in uh deuteronomy uh deuteronomy Genesis 25, um, a man of the field, all right, a cunning hunter, all right, he likes to be out in the wilderness and in, 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 in caves and shit, all right, um, among the bushes they braid under the nettles they, where they gathered together, they were children of fools, yea, children of base men, they were viler than the earth, children of base men, that Esau is going to return, um, Esau's going, Esau's going to return to that state. All right, let me grab another one. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 3 and 5. And the people shall be oppressed, everyone by, by another and everyone by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the basis against the honorable. When we're the honorable, okay, but the base is going to... They, they're gonna uh, uh, behave proudly against us, okay? Oh, let me see. Let me grab Lamentations five, and um, let me see. Let's see. Eight servants have ruled over us. There is none that doeth deliver out of their hands. There's clearly servants. All right, they're they're ruling over us right now. All right. Hey, the scripture says in um, Genesis, the 25th chapter, the, the, the elder shall serve the younger. All right, they're supposed to be serving us. Okay, but hey, we fell away. We, we sinned against the Heavenly Father. We began to follow false idols and follow Esau. Okay, these niggas, you know, these niggas think Esau's a god. All right, these niggas is following Esau. That's how far we fell. All right, they're following the, the, the same person that did all this shit. Okay, you know the same person. All right, that 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 threw shit out the window after the, you know because they, you know, either they were too lazy or they just you know, I don't know, man. We 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 you can't even fathom why Esau does some of the shit they do. All right, um, let me see. Damn, it was another scripture I wanted to get. Oh, Ecclesiastes ten. Ten and seven. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as ser as servants upon the earth. And you know, it says servants upon horses. Esau's and the, they're the natural servants. And being upon a horse is a, a sign of power. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. And, and right now we're those princes that's walking amongst the earth, serving them. Okay? But like I said, we fell away. Alright? We 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 um you know, uh, we went off as a nation, and we got these devils, these Edomites ruling over us. These people, okay, that 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 you know take take one a bath one one bath a year, all right. Where where you know they they just man, they're they're truly the basis man. They're they're truly viler than the earth, as the scripture said, all right. But a a we a thing is going to be a, a complete one eighty, all right. We're going to rule in righteousness in the kingdom of heaven. All right. And we're going to, you know, we're going to civilize the world righteously. All right. And, and, and have the, have the world is going to follow our law, statutes, and commandments. OK. And, and, you know, to the uh, to the heathens, the other heathens, the non Edomite heathens. All right. They're going to under after a thousand years, they're going to understand and appreciate our righteous laws, statutes, and commandments. OK. They're going to see why you don't eat certain foods. They're going to see why you, you know, you, you, um, you know, they're going to see a righteous way to live in their life. OK, but under this under this devil, under Esau, the world is not getting that. All right. It's clearly showing you they're not the people because it says Isaiah 2 that um, all, all the nations shall flow unto Esau. Um, 
Uh, Isaiah 2 and 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountains of the Lord, mountains of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. All right. And the mountains represent the government, but the mountain of Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to be the top mountain on the earth forever. All right. And many people shall go and say, come, come ye and let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of of the Most High of Jacob, the power of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways, and we shall walk in his paths. Out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. All right, so when the Israelites, the true Israelites, the true people of the Heavenly Father, all right, are in power, okay, under, you know, you know, Yahweh Shai, King David, all right, when the righteous rulership, the righteous government is set up, all these nations are going to flow to Israel. All right, they're going to understand and see why we do things how we why why we do things the way we do, and they're going to see that it's righteous. Okay, if like I said, it's going to take a thousand years for them to get right. All right, Esau will never be right, but these these heathens they're going to see and understand that. Oh, okay, this is why this is why we don't eat shellfish. This is why we don't eat a a a, a swine. Okay, this is why we you know um, this is why we take baths every day. Okay. They're going to understand, all right? But Esau, they, they, they'll they never get it. They, they you know, they got all these resources. They got all the money in the world, and they still can't get it, all right? So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom.